and welcome back to Sadie's Spincraft. Today is dizzing off a blending board. I've already got it all ready. On this blending board I have some of this beautiful pink and white blend. Can't tell you what the fibres are because they were just in my blending box. It's beautiful purple and pink. And this one I can tell you is super fine merino because I can tell by the softness. Um, and that's a bright pink. And then I've added some beautiful pink sparkly Angelina. And I'm going to show you how to diz that off. So I'm going to, it was meant to be the drum carder, but I've just realised I can't really diz off the drum carder because, well, it moves. So I'm going to show you how to do it off some that don't move. So I'm going to point you down so you can see what's happening. So I've got my diz and because I want quite a thick roving, I'm going to go through the big hole. So we're just getting a little bit from the end and I'm going to pull to the side and then push down and then I can grab some of the next bit, pull to the side, push down. And just to get going, it's going to be quite slim because I just need to get all the edge actually in there and not past. So make sure it's all going through the days, that's it. So as you get to the end, because you've been pulling that way, we're going to pull that way. So we're changing direction as we draft. So you draft, push forward, draft, push forward. Make sure you catch all them fluffy bits. And then we're going that way again. So you draft, push forward, draft. Oh, look, even I don't get it right. Got to... Keep the fluffies up, draft, push forward, draft, push forward. I've obviously got a bit thinner there than, so I'm going to take that off because I can't hold it all in my hand anyway. So, look at that. <laughs> and I'll go back to where I was, push that through the days. I'm going to draft, push through. And I probably will pull it off a few times, seeing as I really can't hold it all in my hands because I've got tiny, tiny hands. And now we're coming back this way, so I'll make sure it fluffs up. I'm going to draft and push forward. Draft and push forward. Draft. Push forward. And each time you draft, it just makes it slightly easier to get through the diz. Well, I might not need to let go of it a second time. It's getting a bit full though. Yeah, I'm going to have to let go, but I don't really want to... You get on that side. Go on, get in there. And there we go. So I'll show you how that's turned out. I mean, it's not perfect. You will get thin spots, you'll get thick spots. But it takes practice. I haven't dizzed off my blending board for, I'd say, six months, if not longer. But I'm going to get a few of these done so that I can spin them up and make um, some little minis to go in my 200 gram mini bags. Uh, I do mystery bags of yarn on my Facebook page. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you so much for coming. 
and watching. I hope it did kind of, I hope you could see what I were doing and what I were trying to explain. If I didn't do it clear enough, do let me know and I'll do another one, but I'll clamp my board to my table and just see if that shows it a bit better because it is hard work holding it between your knees unless you've got obviously one, one of those with the stand on that you can move and put through your knees um, yeah no matter where you are in the world whether it be morning afternoon evening or night time I want you to do what you love doing thank you so much for watching don't forget if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers Woo and that's my milestone a thousand subscribers and I'll be so much over the moon if not I'm over the moon now because like didn't even realize I'd get to 800 let alone 862 so all's good thank you all so much don't forget the thummies I love you all so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.